Government institutions and well-meaning Nigerians have been urged to encourage the study of science by Islamic youths as it has potential to develop the country. This charge was given at an event themed to highlight the contributions of early Muslims to science and discoveries. Details in this report. The history of Islam's relation to science has largely been one of harmony. Today, many Muslims can be found in the fields of medicine and engineering. At this gathering, the focus is to reward those who have devoted time to Islamic science education. We need to encourage young Muslims that are studying and in encouraging them, we also need to motivate them and reward them with something that is meaningful. But unfortunately, people who have dedicated their time, their efforts, their life to studies both Islamic education and Western education are not being rewarded. To what we are enjoying today as dividends of science and technology, and we are saying that, calling the attention of Muslims of today, that we also need to wake up from our slumber, uh, take up learning, not just religious education, as people say in terms of uh, compartmentalization of, of knowledge, but knowledge generally, beneficial knowledge, useful knowledge knowledge that will bring up uh, things that will make life more meaningful, more enjoyable to people. The conversation here focuses on what Islamic science has achieved in history, as well as encouraging values in Muslim culture today. One of the first values that they will learn, that they will take away from this kind of um, event, is one of them is patience, because for you, to, for, you to earn, for you to gather knowledge, you have to be very patient. You also have tenacity is one of those values. Then another value is um, thinking in the realm of how can I be, um, how can I contribute uh, as a solution provider to the, to the challenges facing my society. What we need to do currently is to encourage the scholars that are coming up that science is the solution. In fact, it's a panacea to the current pandemics we have in this country. Action is even necessary in miracles. So if we truly want to change uh, the ways that life is happening to us, we have to be part of it. And science affords us principles that allow us to critically reflect and come up with solutions that truly, true, logical solutions that truly get uh, the results that we are hoping and praying for. Uh, aside from that, we had people like Jabir Bunrayan known as father of modern chemistry and um, his concepts are still useful to you today. We had al Khawarizmi, who was the father of algebra until today algebra is still useful and the concept of algebra is what is being used in technology today that is helping the world, those in aviation, any field you mention, they need algebra. In all, the speakers were unanimous of the contributions of early Islamic scholars to science and its contemporary relevance as a shaping development of today. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.